Hey guys, HerbQuest here with the bank video. First, here's a quick look at my stats. You can pause it if you'd like. Got a few 99s going on. Got the road to max ahead of me. Ooh, let's pop open the bank. And as you can see at the top here, I have finally reached one bill GP value. And this is my first time having a bank that's worth a bill. I've never had that even on my non Iron Man account before, so I'm pretty excited. As for things that we have in the bank, I've got a row of uh, skill capes here. There's a couple missing because I didn't feel the need to get all of the skill capes that I have 99s for, like fire making, for instance. I have a sapphire lantern in here, and it's kind of redundant to have a equivalent that costs 99k. Uh, I'll probably get it sometime to fill up my cape rack after I get that built after I train construction. Working with 78 mil cash. Got some collections here. Some easy access energy potions because I usually just waste those as I can. Got some ecumenical keys for some god wars in the future. Then in this tab, I have my gems. I just made a lot of rings of recoil, so I don't have many sapphires right now. And these three onyxes are from Zulra. I've got some potatoes here. I plan on making some tuna potatoes in the future, along with some summer pies. We've got some dragon javelins from Harambe Tasks. Some ores and bars and sold head collection. Hides. 153k maple logs I've been saving up from for my kingdom. This is pretty much my skills tab. And over here we have the farming tab, which just got replenished from seeds due to that Kurask trip that I did last video, the time lapse. Everything I got from there was mostly seeds. And I've got some trees down here. I try to keep up with my tree runs a little bit, but since I'm 99 farming, I don't really see the need to do it very consistently. And over here we have the herb tab. I'm growing toad flax right now to get my brew count up there for Sarah God Wars. Going to be camping out for the ACB soon. Not camping, but grinding out. Then here is my general combat tab, probably the most exciting with the 134k shark up here at the top. And Bandos Tacits some Karambwan, uh, double ring set and bued. I don't have any of the wilderness rings yet unfortunately. The only big boss I really camped out in the wilderness so far has been Vedian and no luck from him yet in terms of rings. Got a small whip collection there that should be larger but I like the PK sometimes and lose them. I know I'm an Iron Man, doesn't make sense to PK, but breaks up the monotony sometimes. 191k broad bolts. And we've got the borrows sets here. Let's slip that up there so it makes the sets look more even. Now feel free to pause the video for a second here and comment down below when you find out which piece of borrows I'm missing. I'm curious how many can spot it. And down here we've got these mithril darts. I smithed all of those myself. Same with the adamant. Actually some of those I believe I got from regular black dragons something like that. Here's my black chins that I'll be using to do Sarah with. I like the chin method. I'm still perfecting it, but 
I definitely get more kills per hour than with the traditional method. Some bolts here that I made, mostly from wyverns. One of my dragon fire shields. Blowpipe, eternal boots, staff of the dead, hosta, arc light. I don't know how many charges are in that, but it has quite a few. Region bracelet. Let's see, there's one DFS, and where's my other DFS? Did I already pass it? There's both of them. But the story with the two dragon fire shields is that I got one of them, one visage from black dragons and the other from wyverns. The black dragons I was camping. This was back when I was going for my crafting level to make a, a glory, I believe. And I camped black dragons and eventually got a visage. I was lucky. I just needed something to do AFK at the time because I was in college, had a lot of studying to do. So black dragons were super AFK. Same story with the fish, by the way. After I got the visage, I'm like, well, what do I do to AFK now? So, I started fishing. And I did get 99 through barbarian fishing first before fishing shark. So I did do it slightly efficiently. And here's the Ceridoman God Sword. I got really lucky with that. I got that on kill count 19, the hilt, anyway. I got most of the blades when I was doing the Zamorak God Wars boss. That was the first boss uh, I did for God Wars. There's the tentacle. I actually got all my hilts uh, relatively early. I have the Zami Hill and the Bandos Hill. Forget what kill I got the Zamorakian Hill, but I remember Bandos was very early too. That was on kill count five. And the only one that I'm missing now is Armado. I've gotten a bunch of Armado kills, but no luck on any uniques yet. Slayer Helm. I dyed my graceful green because, you know, herb quest and all. Gonna have to do the Skatizo boss pretty soon, especially now that it has that pet. Then in the magic tab, I've got 100k at least of every rune, just because that looks nice. It only costs like half a mil to get that per stack, so 2 mil for 400k runes, not too bad. These mines I didn't buy like that. The, all these airs and elementals I like bought from the shop in packs. The mines are actually from Barrows. I did a lot of Barrows if you couldn't tell from the other tab. And these blood runes, I rune crafted those myself. Same with the astrals and the cosmics. As opposed to buying them from a shop. These teleports I got mostly from doing level one clues and I'll get to why I was doing level one clues in a bit there's a nice item that explains that here's my daily battle stabs that I keep on collecting I'm gonna stick these dragon bolts in here so I can remember to enchant them that's like my skills tab that I just stuck them in they don't really belong in the magic tab most of these nature runes are from Kurasks. This is just my clue tab for everything I need for clue scrolls. Some of the items that I don't have the deposit hidey holes for. And here is my clue scroll reward tab and holiday tab. I've got the large spade from over 500 easy clues. The katana, deer stalker, musketeer pants, a robin, some trim pieces, the miscellaneous pieces. A lot of my 
trim dimer is in my player owned house. I don't have it anywhere near complete yet, but I do have a few full sets in there. I've got a few full sets of the Ceridoman. I got the full Ceridoman trim there, minus the shield actually. But I haven't built the medium and hard level clue rewards chest yet because I haven't uh, trained construction yet. That's going to be my next goal after grinding Ceridoman God Wars for the ACB. Mostly in line with raids, actually. I want to get the Armadale crossbow and 90 construction for raids. That's the main reason. Got the full Armadale dehyde, the fashion scape. Most of these blessings were from the level 1 clue scrolls. Have the whole set of them. And uh, strength amulet trimmed. Same drop rate as a robin. I mean, Ranger boots, actually. Then here is like my prayer tab because the fire remains go with the magic pyre logs for the whole temple trekking mini game. I might actually do a time lapse of temple trekking when it comes to the hard clues. I don't know if I'll ever use all those buckets of slime. I might just go for the gilded altar. I think I'll be good on the ecto tokens because they don't really use up that fast of charges. Like it's one charge per bone, and I have over four hundred thousand charges. So it's going to be a while before I need any more ecto tokens. And then here is sort of like my junk tab and unique collections tab. I've got the I don't even know how to pronounce those, but the god sticks, stabs, spears from the making history uh, after quest, the mini quest after that, where you dig around with the the warm key, the hot and cold key. And I rate uh, some random quest rewards, forty big shark that I got from fishing all those shark from the other tab. Oh, I forgot something in the clue rewards tabs real quick. The or the clue complete tabs. Flared trousers. That's why I have so many easy clue rewards. I had the requirement for flared trousers for a master clue. And it took me over 1,000 easy clues until I obtained the flared trousers. I actually streamed that back when I had decent internet. I kind of missed streaming. That was fun. Got the Karask heads from that last video that we did there. Some javelins. Poison darts. I should take a cleaning cloth to those so I can use them in my blowpipe. I haven't run out of normal darts yet though so I haven't really felt the need to. Over 9,000 rune arrows. That'll be nice if I ever get that twisted bow. I don't really think you need to use dragon arrows for it to be OP. I think it'll be just decent with uh, rune arrows too. Some random alkables. The dragon square shield. A couple of ceridoman swords. Extra Zami Spear. I have the Hosta. I guess I could kill Corp with that. Some extra God Sword shards. 29,000 jugs of wine. Some snake skin from Zulra. Might stock up on trading sticks as well. That could make a time lapse doing the Taibo Wanai clean up to get those because I can uh, tick manipulate the teaks in the mahogany grove. Actually, yeah, I can get in there for free now because I did the Karamja tasks, so I'd only really need the trading sticks to send the parcel with that one member of the village to bank everything. I might be able to get all the teak logs I need for construction with 
just those training sticks. I might not even need to do Type one I. I kind of like that mini game anyway, though. I might do a time lapse of it just because. If you guys want to see it, though, give me a yes or no in the comments if that's something you'd want to see. Then down here we have some dynamite from Winter Todd, some Alcables from Slayer, a Wily Hellcat, Fighter Hat, random quest items. But yeah, that's the whole bank, one bill. In terms of other progress, I'll get to that in a moment. I'm going to have to make a phone call probably. But in terms of other progress, I've got all the quests done except for the new one, the client of Karen. And I'll skip down here to the mini quests. I've got to do the newest mini quest and the general's shadow. That's kind of an older mini quest, but I've just been neglecting to do it. I might just go do those two today, actually, just to get them crossed off. Actually, all three, the client of Karend as well. And then that'll be another step towards completion. Then for the diaries, I'm just missing Desert and Western Province. For the Desert, the main one that's holding me back. If I go to Elite, is to talk to the Caliphate Queen, which I lack the construction level for, and the 85 prayer. Once I get uh, the stats for those, these two first things will be easy to just knock out, and then Desert will be done. And for Western Province, I need the Slayer, 93 Slayer, to kill the thermonuclear smoke devil, which I'm pretty close to. And then I'll have to get on the Chompy Bird grind. I don't think I'll do a time lapse of that just because I, I don't, I wouldn't want to watch that content. And I, I, that's one way I judge my time lapses is is it something that I think would be interesting to watch and then I base it off of that and I don't think it'd be interesting to watch choppy bird hunting up to a thousand kills but if you think otherwise let me know and I'll give uh, I'll film it you know for prayer I'm still missing all the raid stuff. I haven't gotten anything unique from raids yet. And that's where I am with the account so far. Road to Max. I've got a bunch of random skills to finish off here. Thieving, Hunter, and Woodcutting are just three that I can knock out any old time. Mining, I need to learn how to quarry. I've never really done quarry, the tick manipulation methods at least. I'd like to learn how to do that. So, I'm not going to do mother load mine to 99. I think I'm going to learn quarry, do that to 99, and then do mother load post 99. So I have the best rate unlocked once I get there. Smithing. I'm probably going to get that through Slayers since Necro Eels drop so many gold ores now. I might even just camp those especially just to accumulate a bunch of gold ore. Otherwise I can just buy it from the Blast Furnace shop. Agility I've been saving because I heard a rumor that they might increase the XP rates of the non-rooftop courses to make them better XP than the rooftop courses, so I've been waiting for that to happen. I might just finish it off if I get some other things out of the way first. Herb lore is slowly getting up there as I do my herb runs. Defense, it's just a small grind away. Thieving, just a small grind. Prayer, waiting on that until I get my gilded altar, which I can start doing the plank make for any time now. I'm going to do that after I get my armadillo crossbow, actually. That's the goal there. 
Then rune crafting, I only really got it up to 91 so I could do double gnats. Pretty close to a level because I made quite a few gnats after I got that. But now that you can make double deaths and double laws, I might have to start training that again soon. And construction I already talked about. Fletching is just getting up there slowly but surely one level away same with crafting the daily battle stabs are going to eventually get that level and yeah the road to max looks uh, like a clear ba uh, clear path well thank you guys for watching that is my bank and my account progress so far Peace.